Hello everyone, Friday, the 5th of February. I primarily want to um, encourage folks to um, um, make purchases of artists, including me, on Bandcamp today. This is Bandcamp First Friday. And I, for one, really appreciate them doing this. Um, they charge about 15% per sale and other stuff for everything that gets sold on their um, platform. I don't know how many years I've been on Bandcamp, but I have actually um, made some money on there and, and at times have been able to live on it. Um, for today, I've um, just released a, a new release of old archive material called Past Pictures with this in mind. Um, it's 10 tracks from my past. You, you'll hear me singing and playing guitar as well as other music, other instruments. Um, stuff that I was making back in the 90s, really, for my own sanity, really not with the idea of anyone else hearing it, except for a couple things. So that's on my site. I just down uploaded it for release today. Everyone is on Bandcamp. I mean, literally, some of the m biggest artists in the world are on Bandcamp, as well as your neighbors. So show some support. Please show some support. A couple records before I go. Listen to some Polly Folk Dance last night by Hudson Mohawk. Primarily a producer nowadays, but um, this sounds a lot like Flying Lotus. And I hadn't listened to this for a while. I'd been wanting to hear it and couldn't find it. I hadn't, it was misfiled. Hate it when that happens. A lot like Flying Lotus, though. Mick Karn, the bassist who's passed away, unfortunately, but was in the bands Japan and Jansen Barbieri Karn. Very interesting style of bass. Fretless, very singular. Uh, this is his album Dreams of Reason Produce Monsters. Kind of an odd album. A lot of it is instrumental and it's these interesting themes. The best songs are the ones where he has David Sylvian sing vocals. Good album. Pull this, um, uh, someone was playing Wolf Eyes and showed it online, and Aaron Dillaway, it's a solo album, not an album, but it's an EP by Aaron Dillaway and Bill Nace, band EP. This originally came out on cassette. Well, these guys are what I consider master manipulators of sound. Bill Nace plays guitar as well, and Aaron started Wolf Eyes. Um, it just really sounds like sounds coming in from a radio from another dimension. It's really cool shit. Andrea Ceccarelli. Italian. I, I, this is embarrassing. I had this when it first came out. Then I sold it. And then since then had 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 my first opportunity to replace it was this damned used copy that's been defaced by the local FM radio station. But this is jazz rock and funk. Very, there's a lot going on here. It's very excited. It's kind of manic. Um, it's like people are really revved up. Really revved up. I put away a lot of records, but if you happen to be watching Fred Church, Fred Church is someone who is a friend on Facebook who po posts a lot of music, and I forget who sends me stuff. I do. And he apparently is involved with this label, Tangy Citrus, or it's his label. And he sent me stuff by Locat, I think. No, I forget. Kumquat. But this album, C Celebrity Side Boob, it's a very various artist. It really sounds like one one group of people to me, really. And Kumquat is on here. And this is a fun listen. It's, it's, it's sampling. It's fun with samples. A lot of spoken word stuff recontextualized or contextualized here. It was a fun listen. Nova from Italy, Vimana. Started by, I think, the guitarist who was in the band Osana. 
Narada Michael Walden is on here, Phil Collins is on here, Percy Jones is on here. But even without them, this is a really wonderful jazz rock album. I love that cover. And the reference to the uh, ancient um, mythical, well, flying machines. We w Modern man, Western man says they're mythical. They probably existed. There seems to be plenty of um, texts written a long time ago about these damn things. Great album, though. So, are things getting better? I keep hoping so. Listening to the news, it's hard to tell with COVID. It's like vaccinations are rolling out. Seems like numbers are going down. But it also seems like the damn thing is um, mutating. The main thing I want to say uh, regarding today's world is it's it, it, it's really just, you know, something how stark things are now regarding politics, how it's just really a naked power grab. And people are saying and doing anything that they want for their purposes. They don't care if it's true. main thing I keep thinking is this is so crazy to me how can these people think that they're sane and wise and smart and adult how is this how is this going to work out for um, I don't know I just see so much misery unnecessarily because of material um, focus it's probably not even worth saying but I do anyway because it kind of helps me to keep my mind together